I've known Mike Miller for quite some time. Uh, over the past several years, we have worked on many numerous projects together and uh, in the community for the union. Mike has always been honest and forthright and always accessible. He, with all the other candidates, we helped form, he came to our mayor's forum, and he did very well. For reasons known to our union, we went neutral in the election. After he won the primary, Mike called and thanked the union for their support. He came in and he addressed our executive board, and the officers were very pleased with his position on the union, crime in the city, and the willingness to work together to achieve our goals. Mike was unanimously approved by our executive board to be the next mayor of Philadelphia. So Philadelphia, this is Council 33. On behalf of its over 12,000 members and 1,200 retirees, support Mike Nair, not, not, excuse me, support Mike Nutter as the next mayor of Philadelphia. Good afternoon, um, fellow brothers in the broadest uh, sense. Uh, Pete Matthews, uh, president of this uh, great District Council 33, and to all of you. One, it is a tremendous honor to be with you uh, this afternoon. I've been in this building many, many times over many, many years, not just uh, when I started running uh, for mayor, but as a member of City Council and even before. Uh, I've had an opportunity to work with many of you directly at the workplace during my time at City Council, the great work that you do across uh, the city government. Uh, I had an opportunity to see firsthand what our public employees go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of the things that I want to do, uh, should I be mayor of the city of Philadelphia, is reestablish the trust, the support, the recognition, the faith, and the integrity of who public servants are and what they're about. There is an image in this city that somehow, some way, we're not always doing what we need to do. Well, that's wrong. That's wrong. Some things have happened over the years in any job place, in any work environment. Some people are not doing maybe what they should be doing. But the overwhelming majority of public servants come into government for the right reason. They want to serve people. They work hard every day under difficult circumstances that many members of the public do not understand the challenges that public employees face on a daily basis. And whether it's equipment, whether it's supplies, whether it's technology, whether it's oversight, whether it's the general leadership and structure of the city government, the responsibility to provide those things has to come from the top. It must come from room 215 in City Hall. It must come throughout the government, from the top of the leadership down to the personnel on the street doing whatever their job responsibility is. I want to have that kind of partnership with you as mayor of this city. We're all together in this struggle to make Philadelphia a great city that all of us want it to be. And so it is a tremendous honor to be with you this afternoon. I've been with you before. P. Matthew said, yes, there was an election. It took place in May. That election is over. We have an opportunity to come together, and he was one of the first calls that I made because elections come and go. Relationships and long-term friendships and the ability to work together is what we have to build on over a long period of time. So I look forward to working with you. I need your help and support. We're not taking anything for granted. You know that I've been around. Did you see me around day after day after day? And people say, well, why are you working so hard? And you know what the numbers are? Doesn't matter. We take nothing for granted. It's not only a mayor's race, it's city council, there are row offices, two Supreme Court seats and three Superior Court seats. Every major legal issue that has faced this city ultimately ends up at the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. So those races are important as well. But if we really want change, if we really want to reform how we've been doing what we've been doing, then we need people to come out to vote. Because you only get to have it if you come out and vote on election day. So if you want change, come out and vote for it. We have a great opportunity here. We already have a great partnership. We have much work to do. And I'm looking forward to going back to work in room 215 at City Hall. Thank you very much.